Cause niggas try to glorify bullshit. Like you niggas try to glorify soft shit. Niggas try to glorify niggas that ain't that niggas that's flow. Nigga, we know when niggas flow when we deal with them in the streets. We know when the nigga flow. Like we understand that they flow. We don't capitalize off they flawness though, because we'll capitalize off real shit. We ain't gonna capitalize off no nigga being flawed, weak as hell. Nigga, we understand what a nigga weak as hell. Then he a street, call himself a street nigga. He could be a street nigga, but he's still weak as hell. We don't capitalize and try to glorify this shit. Now, we gonna sit in and have conversations about niggas as strong as us. We don't have conversations about niggas as weak as hell. You need to be fucking me up, right? Because nigga. See, with me, Jay Prince got the popularity vote. With Cam and uh, Mace, he don't got the popularity vote. And, and, and Mace is arrogant. Cam is arrogant. So you started it, what you gonna do? And they didn't say what they said. So let's see where it go. Yeah, if I know Jay Prince, he gonna get on the phone and wanna have a conversation. That's all he do. He just like to and make it look like that's why I wasn't doing that with him. He tried to do the same shit. Nah, we ain't doing that because that's what you do. And then you try to make it look like, you know, you to this and you to that. We ain't doing that. Facts. Hey, did you hear the audio, though? Them niggas, them niggas reference you. Cam and Mace reference you. Reference your little shit that you had with Jay Prince and like, shit. He probably, they probably talked about me, NBA. They probably talked about why you ain't say nothing to Top Dog, you know? You know what I mean? I, I can only imagine shit they That's definitely what they said. That's definitely what they said, bro. Can anybody play audio on here? Big Chuck got put on punishment. His girl said she ain't moving back in until he stay off clubhouse, so he, he can't do it. Yo, what the hell you <laughs> But see, why did the nigga even go at them niggas? Like, what you tripping over? You tripping over a fighter, right? I'm pretty sure all Mason and did was did their little commentary on it. All they said was the same shit that every motherfucking sports commentator been saying. That the nigga Shakur Stevenson, his fights is boring. That's just the truth. Everybody feel the same way. And then after his last fight, you know, all them people was walking out before the fight was over. So after the fight, everybody was like, his fights is boring. Niggas don't like to go see Shakur Stevenson fight. Boom. Cam and Mace did they little daily sports commentary, which they supposed to do because they're a sports show. They're a sports show, Jay Prince. That's what they supposed to do. They supposed to commentate on sports. Once they did that, Shakur got in his feelings. He started talking crazy about Cam and Mace. Boom. You know Cam and Mace like what you just said, Wack. Them they niggas did. is, yeah, they not going for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> them, niggas, them niggas is really arrogant ass niggas, bro, and they got them slick lives. them niggas for real. Facts. So they said what they said. Shakur said what he said. And now Jay Prince put up this post yesterday and, you know, did the little weak ass shit he always yeah, tried to do the little. about I handle all this outside business too. And right. All Write all his fake Michael Corleone type shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, that nigga may say it. Nigga, we don't got no big homie. <laughs> oh, God. Yo, he picked the right two. And what he don't know is Cam let Mace control it. So that means... <laughs> he got the right... Listen, he got the popularity vote over me. What up, what up, what up? But he ain't got that over them niggas right there. Well, what's out. the word, folks? Nah, not at all. Not nah. at all. I want to see, because New York was siding with old Jay Prince. I want to see what New York got to say about it. But see, they brought that up, too. Mace was saying, basically, like, okay, he was saying about how Jay Prince tried to call out New York, you know, when that change shit happened and yeah. all that. And he was like, that ain't really go over too well for Jay Prince. Then he brought up you. Mace was like, you trying to pick and choose, you know what I'm saying? You ain't say shit to whack 100 when he was at you, you know what I'm saying? And then Cam was like, Cam kind of correct, corrected him a little bit and was like, well, he did respond to whack, but he was like, Cam was like, the shit whack said to him, I ain't even going to repeat that shit, you know what I'm saying? He was like, whack violated that nigga and um, ain't no really coming back for that type shit. Like, basically, like, he could never be cool after that type shit, the way you violated that nigga and shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why he went. He must have forgot who them two niggas is. That nigga Mace is the asshole of assholes. 
He's going to make you, nigga. And, and Cam don't give a fuck. Yeah, nah, Cam don't. They they gave the nigga like a good ten minutes. They gave him a little like you know like a little warning <laughs> shot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to see what Jay Prince gonna come back and say. If Jay Prince respond to this shit and keep this shit going, them niggas gonna flame his ass the fuck up, bro. Yeah, all I know is this. Um, he's showing the signs. See, he used to get away with this shit back in the day. Because people would get on the phone and say, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. No. This ain't Mace them of the early 90s. This ain't them. Niggas ain't getting on the phone saying shit. Them niggas did they little sports shit. They wasn't disrespectful. It was what it was. And you tried to get on there and say, and I handle all this outside business too. Like them niggas was supposed to tuck their tail. Yeah, nah, they ain't going for that. Mace, Mace said that shit too. Mace was like, I used to have some type of respect for you, but now I don't have no type of respect for you at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you 60 years old trying to push this, trying to trying to pull this little street shit on niggas. Like, niggas is little niggas. Niggas is not little niggas, bro. You gotta understand that shit. Them niggas, when it come to they voice, they voice is way bigger That's than yours, Jake Prince. Bro. And here go the thing for a nigga who would have been Rico, who'd have been popped with 50 keys and all kind of shit, and this shit going on down there, still ongoing investigations. This nigga real loose with his mouth with this type of shit, bro. Why do you think Jay Prince feel he could speak on everybody in business except the West Coast? No, nah, he ain't gonna fuck with that. No, I know he ain't. I know he don't speak up on West Coast business. <laughs> he ain't gonna fuck with that. But what makes our politics different from all these other coasts that he's willing to speak up? His son on? been robbed five times out here. Okay, there it's a fact. And he got to call niggas. Call he can call us. Call Big U. Call the Blackstones. You know to try to. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He know. He know. You got to remember. They can skate around that South because, you know, the GD or the BD, whatever one they associate with, you know, they got their friends over there. That shit don't work over here. We don't give a fuck about none of that kind of shit over here. Niggas is crippling and blood and South Side and power road and, and just the basic hustlers. So we got some real hustler niggas don't fall up on a no flag that's going to get with the shit. Right? So he, he know that shit. You can't make them call. He tried to make a call on me out there. And the homie said, I hear you. He said, let me tell you how I met Wack on the level three yard, 1996. I was two weeks to the house. Nigga owed me a debt, wasn't paying me. I was finna go blast him. He said, gee, homie, I can't let you do that. And he took that for me. He said, so if you calling me about my homeboy, nigga, I know I'm from company from Bacoima, but this is what you better know, nigga, this pa rope. And got nigga got off that jack. And then little niggas, he got represent rap a lot West or whatever. He called them. They calling me. Nigga called. What you want to do, whack? He don't understand the part that I told him. Like, bro, stop playing on that phone before I start playing with your real life. I plan on that phone, bro. I plan on that phone. Yeah. None, of them, none of them niggas in this bloodline outside of his brother is that. His kids ain't that. And they some good little dudes. You know what I'm saying? Especially that one Josh, Josh Prince and the little lights get on. Good little dudes. They had on their business, don't fuck with nobody, none of that shit. Right? The other nigga a little weird. He got rape cases, all kind of weird shit. He be trying to play tough and he ain't tough. You know what I'm saying? But but he need to really kick back, bro. Because that Cam and, uh, and, and Mace, they gonna give him the attention he's looking for. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, I and noticed York, his, um, I noticed that rap a lot West he tried to start that label and that shit just disappeared. Ain't hey, no, we ain't even a rap a lot south. Yeah, uh, that shit dead right now. Dead. So, but I tell you what, he got the right to, and New York gonna stand with them niggas. They ain't going for none of that. That ain't no hocus four fifth shit going on. With you that. see how quick them niggas responded, bro? That shit happened yesterday evening. Them niggas did that shit first thing this morning. That shit dropped like nine o'clock in the morning. But it make him look so bad. It make Jay Prince look like he he selected politicking because 
nigga, you always speak up for Drake whenever Drake got some shit going on. When Drake had the shit going on with Diddy, you remember Jay Prince put out that little mm -hmm. notice he did. Anytime Drake got issues, he's stepping up. But with this Kendrick shit, this shit been quiet as a church oh, mouse. Goes. This nigga ain't said nothing. Goes this from them talking about his fights is boring? This is where this shit Yes, started, bro. bro. This, shit this came from them giving commentary off of a fucking boxing match, bro, which they do on they show, bro. The nigga Shakur been on they show before. So I, I don't I don't understand what they think going on. These niggas know how Cam and Mace well, get up, bro. Everybody's saying that. This shit nasty. This shit nasty. Man, fuck Jake Prince. He out of touch. Yeah, he definitely out of touch, bro. He definitely out of touch. This nigga think this shit still 1989, 1998, shit like that. Do that nigga even have any artists? Nah, you know, he, he into the boxing, I guess. I mean, you, you could say they got finesse two times, but, you know, finesse two times losing, losing his steam and shit. Nah, Jay Prince, Jay, Jay Prince, he don't even fuck with the music no more. He left that shit to his son and shit. That nigga just tried to focus on the boxing and shit. So, like, rap a lot? Yeah. Nah, them niggas ain't doing shit. Finesse ain't been around them niggas in I don't know how long. Franklin, you sound like you from Texas. You from Texas, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down here in Houston right now. Got you. Got you. So, so can you give us, like, a little, a little breakdown of, like, what Jay Prince and Shakur Stevenson connection is? Because a lot of people don't know. Oh no, I don't know too much in detail, bro. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, that nigga is just supposedly his his manager in boxing and shit like that or whatever, supposedly or whatever. But outside of that, bro, you know what I'm saying? They they probably got some connections outside of it, but I don't really know too much, bro. So Jay Prince do sports management Maybe too. Maybe Shakur trying yeah. to go down the Floyd been, route because he, you remember he been in boxing. Floyd yeah, he trying to go down the uh, Floyd route. When Floyd had oh uh, shit, I ain't never knew that. Had that nigga Jay Prince get him out of that contract with Bob Arum. Yep. So Facts. that might be, that might be the angle that he going with, trying yeah, to Jay, use his muscles. Yeah, Jay Prince been in the boxing for a minute, man. He been he been in the boxing for a yeah, long time. For a minute. Yeah, I seen I seen he had an interview one time. He said he was trying to manage Mike Tyson when Mike Tyson was hot. He said he went to a meeting to try to manage Mike. Took a million dollars up there, some shit. Mike turned him down, type shit. Do his name still hold the way they used to hold back in the day? Or, you know, is them young niggas running shit around in there? Yeah, he still had the respect he did. Uh, he gonna always have the respect here in Houston. Um, the young niggas here, they, they have the respect for him, but it's like, a, it's one of the things that we not scared of you type shit. You know what I'm saying? We respect you, but we not scared of you type shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's generally what it is, so. But, uh, Nah, he's, he's, he's still uh, who he is here in Houston, that's for sure. See, the issue with Jay Prince, I think, he think his little power, whatever he got in Houston, goes across the board, across the country. And that's where he's getting mistaken. Because LA niggas, we don't give a fuck about him. Never have. Well, see, he got some, he got, he got, he got a lot of connections around the, around the country. No, I'm not saying he don't. Prince fucked up when he, I believe he, when he fucked up when he, uh, when he got on, when he got on the internet. That's where he fucked up. You know what I'm saying? If he's supposed to be the, the steam that he has and the person that he is, he shouldn't have never got on the internet and start talking and start doing.